ChatGPT 4.5 was an IQ of 155. Elon Musk is 155. Einstein is 160. You now have a tool that has a memory capacity that exceeds all of humanity's history. Linguistic intelligence is not the only form of intelligence, but we are working in 2024. You will see solutions to deep uh, reasoning. You will see solution to complex mathematics. You saw Gemini from Google and the idea of multi-input and multi-output. And the thing is, even if we don't have any new breakthroughs, mm. If we just throw more compute and more data on the machines, we will continue to grow uh, exponentially for the next four or five years. ChatGPT 3.5 to 4.5 was a 10x improvement in performance. Mm -hmm. Another 10x, and you're talking an IQ of 1,500. That's like a two-year-old us humans talking to Einstein. I can guarantee you two-year-old would have no idea what Einstein's talking about. Let me pick up on this notion of the intelligence of computers. In your, in your book, Scary Smart, you say by 2029, machine intelligence will break out of specific tasks and into general intelligence. So there will be machines that are smarter than humans. And by 2049, AI is predicted to be a billion times, a billion times smarter than the smartest human. Does the concept of singularity scare you? Yeah, so first of all, I revised those numbers, believe it or not, last year, and I publicly say that AGI is no later than 2027. I think we're accelerating and we're misunderstanding the concept of how we will arrive at AGI. Uh, there is a lot of hype around one company, uh, a, a, you know, creating AGI. I don't think that's what's going to happen. I think what's happening is that because we're allowing agents to, to prompt AI, uh, those agents are literally connecting the multiple systems in a loosely coupled way mm. so that you can see uh, one of those agents will become the AGI, which will be able to prompt all of the different special AIs and be able to, to provide intelligence that way. And I believe that the billion times smarter might come a lot quicker. My current prediction is 2037. And the question is, does it even matter if it's 2037, 2045, 2055? You know, all you really need is 10 times smarter. Mm. 10 times smarter is the end of the game, is the point of singularity. Now, mm. does the singularity worry me? Uh, not at all, actually. As a matter of fact, I can't wait for the day when AI takes over. Uh, I think what worries me is the transition uh, between this moment in time uh, where AI is becoming a superpower and the moment in time where we take humans out of the equation. And I'll say that, don't, don't be alarmed. Uh, the problem is, uh, when you have a superpower, you use it, okay? And what will, you, what will AI be used for in the next 10 years mostly? It will be used to serve capitalism. So there will be more and more and more um, struggle with our human value set. Imagine if I give you a plug in the wall, yeah. And, and I tell you, I can now double your IQ, triple your IQ, right? Just plug into it and you'll get more intelligence. You know, my lifetime dream is to plug into that plug. If I get 4x my intelligence, that's my assessment. If I get 4x my intelligence, I could probably use nanophysics to create a, a garden where you walk to one tree and pick an apple and walk to another tree and pick an iPhone, mm. right? The cost of molecularly uh, rearranging molecules basically differently is not different between uh, an iPhone and an Apple. That's a world of abundance that would solve all of human problems. Mm. Can you imagine that, mm. right? And yet, what are we going to use AI for? We're going to use it to, uh, they, they normally call it um, spying, gambling, selling, and killing. These are the four top uses of AI, right? Uh, you know, surveillance and spying systems, uh, uh, you know, uh, we call it gambling, but, uh, you know, we call it trading, but it really is machines taking over, uh, algorithmically making money without adding any value. Uh, you know, selling is, we call it advertising, uh, you know, and, and so on. So, so the idea is that if AI is used to maximize the current value set of humanity, I think we're going to be in trouble. And so is the singularity a problem? No. Is AI a challenge at all? I will tell you absolutely, hands down, there's absolutely nothing wrong with AI. Mm. There is a lot wrong with the human value set in the age of the rise of AI.